die for the same thing he left here. Preach the word. And God wants his word, preach it. And that's all I have to offer everybody. And you bear in mind, I'm not getting paid to preach this. No, you're not. I travel and travel and travel, and I'm not getting paid. That's right. To preach this. I'm a working man. Ain't nobody gonna pay you for breaking up their home. No. Breaking up the church. Blowing up the pulpit and killing their pastor. Murdering their bishop and decapitating their apostle. And hanging their elder. That's and right. burning the deacon. Oh, yeah? That's right. They're not gonna pay you. Yeah. Hey Amen. Don't you know when God sent a preacher, God make him a murderer? That's right. I want to say what? I say when God sent a preacher, God make him a murderer, That's a right. killer. Killer. Let me get Bible. Give me the book of Jeremiah and see what God told the prophet. The prophet. That's right. That God made him. That's I'm right. I'm pretty sure someone logged on now and said, you see there? You see that, that man lost his mind. <laughs> That's right. When I was demonstrating boxing and hitting you with the word. Last night, Brandon, you know, his eyes, you know, sometimes when Brandon look, his eyes just be all big and round. <laughs> the, the camera hit him last night and someone commented and said when Pastor Jenner was throwing his jabs at Brother Williams, that one minister in back eyes was so big, he like he was saying, Pastor Jenner lost his mind. <laughs> I want to show you my occupation. That's right. Not only my occupation, every man that God sent. That's right. God sent the man to kill the devil in you. Amen. Kill your will. Amen. Assassinate your way of thinking. Yeah. Break up your folly ground. That's right. Tear up your life. Mm. Dismantle your pleasure. That's right. And then tell you, come on back to God and be happy. <laughs> That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and we'll start reading at verse 20. Follow me. Begin at verse 19. Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 19. Yes. The portion of Jacob is not like them, eh? for he is the former of all things. Yes. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Eh? The Lord of hosts is his name. Yes. Thou art my battle axe. Listen at what he's telling the prophet. Thou art my battle axe. No. Thou art my pocket knife. Thou art my battle axe. Yes. Amen. You know what a battle axe is? Battle. In ancient times, it's two types of battle axes. That's right. Long hand and short hand. That's right. A long hand of battle axe was held with two hands. Mm -hmm. Pointed on the end so they can pierce you. Big blade on the side so they can slice your gut open. <laughs> That's right. Short hand battle axe, you can have one in each hand. Yeah. In the Asiatic world, they still use them. That's right. Well, look at what God tell the preacher what he is. God designed the preacher. That, that, yeah, that lets you know right then, 99.9 .9 of every man that's over social media, television, and radio, God didn't send them to preach because they're not using the axe. These fellas are tickling you with feathers. <laughs> that's right. That's right. God told the prophet, Thou art my battle axe. You don't take a battle axe and take it in. And someone just goes, <laughs> <laughs> No, no. He tells the preacher, thou art my battle axe. My battle axe. Battle axe. Listen. And weapons of war. And your, your weapons of war. For with thee. With thee. With thee, preacher. Will I break in pieces the nations. With thee. That's what God sent the preacher to do. That's right. Not to walk hand in hand with the nations. Break in pieces Not the nations. Not to condone what the government have. No. Going on that contradict the word of God. That's right. When God said a man, he don't have Democrats and Republicans in the pulpit of the church running for office. No. Voting booths is not in the church. That's right. Because the word of God said. For with thee will I break in pieces the nation. The nation. The nations. When Trump was running for office <laughs> and Hillary was running, the Democrats and Republicans came down to the church. Mm-hmm. Pastor Jenny, you got a nice campus here. Thank the Lord. Flattery don't get you nowhere. No. You got plenty of room for voting booths. First, the Republican Party came. Mm -hmm. Pastor Jenny, we would like to rent your space for voting booths. I said, not here. That's right. Not here. That's right. We already done vote. Jesus won. <laughs> he 
one long time ago. Long time ago. He had a Trump, a flyer of Trump. He said, oh, I guess you're not a Republican. I'm saying, I'm not a Republican or Democrat. I ran him off the property. Then it wasn't for long, Republicans came. Amen. I didn't even give him a chance to finish the statement. He said, do you mind? I said, yes and no. <laughs> yes, I mind and no, we don't want your boots here. That's right. Democrats is up the devil and so is the Republicans. That's right. Somebody say, well, the Democrats justify uh, abortion and same-sex marriage. So do some of you Republicans. Yeah. You Republicans claim you're Christians, and many of you are nothing but a bunch of bigots. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, and I'm not an American, and I got sense enough to know it. <laughs> Amen. I want to say you're not an American? No. Oh, no. I'm not an American. <laughs> I don't see no American dream. All I see is an American nightmare. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. I believe in holiness. Holiness. Holiness is the intelligence of God, the thoughts of God, the understanding of God, the knowledge of God that is in book form displayed by prophets and apostles to bring the lessons of God to the world to get all the human race in line with God's commandments. That's it. Wonderful. Just like the planets are in order. Wonderful. To rotate around the sun. Yeah. God word here to put us in order. That's right. Glory to God to rotate around his law. Thou art my battle axe. Thou art my battle axe. That's why we preach so hard and you get cut. <laughs> Amen. And that's why some people run out of here with their hands up. Oh, that man is crazy. I can't take it no more. <laughs> that means they're bleeding. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, they God, then they run to their false church, run to bishop, and bishop try to banish them and give them some cotton swab, water down, and try to patch up the hurt. Amen. And then a man under the sun can fix what God done broke. Amen. With thee, with thee will I break in pieces the nation. Will I break in pieces the nation, the nations. And with thee, look at how he used the preacher. Amen. Look at how God used the preacher. This is what I'm telling all viewers and all listeners. Look at the preachers of the world and then look at the scriptures and compare them. That's right. Did you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. Look at the preachers of the world and then look at the prophets. Look at Jesus and look at the apostles and compare them. That's right. That's They're right. just as different today hmm. than it was yesterday. Oh, yeah. The fear of God yeah. was among the preachers and God's people yesterday. Yeah. The fear of God today has been replaced by the love of money. That's right. The love for fame, the love for notoriety. That's right. The prophets and the apostles wasn't looking at nobody's feelings when they preached. No. Amen. No. Today they look at your feelings. Come on. Come on. They are afraid to offend you when you are a good afraid. big uh, contributor. Yeah. When you are a good tie giver and a big offering giver. That's right. Preacher won't say nothing. No. You can be a transvestite. <laughs> as long as you're writing that check, he'll overpass the deeds of the wicked. That's right. He won't preach against none of your wrong. That's right. You can be drunk and be a deacon. Yeah. You can be a lesbian and be on the choir. That's right. You can be a prostitute and play the organ. That's true. Long as you bring in that money. They are waxing fat. Do you hear what I'm telling you? In Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 28. Jeremiah 5, 28 says. They are waxing fat. They are increasing. They are waxing fat. They meaning they are becoming prosperous. They shine. They shine. Yeah, they overpass. Oh, they overpass. The meaning, the yeah, yeah. They overpass, which means they overlook or they ignore. The deeds of the wicked. The deeds of the wicked. They judge not the call. And if you look at the TV evangelists and the social media preachers, <clears throat> who's crying out against the sins of the world? Amen. You can't find a mega preacher in the world no. speaking against the chaos of the world. No. He got his Bentley. He got his Rolls Royce. That's right. He got his jet that he got from the church. That's right. He got his mansion that the church bought him. That's right. 
That's right. So he feels as though he ain't got no reason to spoil what he already has. Amen. Amen. So we take God, so God come bring Hallelujah. a preacher. Amen. And make him give you a close shave. That's right. Not with a razor. Battle axe. But the blade of a battle axe. Thou art my battle axe. Why a battle axe? Amen. Why? Amen. So we can come between you and your second wife. That's right. Mm -hmm. We need something sharp. Sharp. That's right. To come between you because she's emotionally tied to him. Go ahead, man. He's emotionally tied to her and it takes God to bring pain. Mm. You know, Hallelujah. you know, you know, to train a puppy. Mm. When you train a puppy, a puppy is not obedient right away. That's right. You have to train it and bring pain to it. That's right. So you tell that puppy, sit. Puppy don't sit. Mm -hmm. So the master may get a roll of paper. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> sit. That's right. So then the puppy began to identify the sound of sit and the pain. That's right. That's right. And uh, the puppy starts sitting. Yeah. We are like animals. That's right. Untamed. Unruly. Yeah. Barbaric. That's right. Stubborn. Yeah. Self will. Oh, yeah. And the only time we go to God is when we want something. That's right. That's right. Get sick, beg God for something. Beg God. Make a bunch of lying promises. Yeah. Lord, if you get me out the hospital this time, I serve you. <laughs> Not even out the hospital yet, just start feeling better. That's true. Lord, I know I said I serve you, but. But. That's all if you deliver me this time. I do right. Hmm. Get that brown paper bag. Yeah. I remember what I said, Lord. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Some of you here now say you're Christians. Yeah. And you're nothing but liquor drinkers. That's right. Cigarette suckers. Yeah. Club dancers. Yes. Party goers. And you hide in some hypocrite and no good club called the Baptist Church. Amen. Am I right? That's right. And you and the church members go to the same party, do the same dances with the deacon and the Jerry Curl head cigarette sucking pipe smoking reverend. That's right. That's right. And you know why you keep going to your church? Because you know your evil, yeah. your sin, your wickedness will not be spoken out again. That's right. That's right. God saw you. That's right. And the devil know you. Mm -hmm. God spoke, I believe, in the book of Joshua. Mm -hmm. To the devil, bring me your report. Joshua chapter 22. I want you to follow me in the Bible. Yes. You that are listening, hear, hear, hear. Amen. Hear this warning now. Joshua chapter 22, we'll start at verse 46. Some folk come watch me because they never saw the person in some in person they see on television. Right. I was in Piccadilly and a group of policemen came in. Pastor Jennings. I said, how are you? They said, we watch you. Hmm. We watch you. We watch you. We don't miss you. Wonderful. Uh -huh. I said, all right. Thank God for you. I don't care if you got 28 guns on your hip and a badge big at this table. Amen. You got to repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ or that badge and that gun will not get into the kingdom. That's right. How many here is making plans for death? Hmm. You got your insurance policy. You wrote a will. But you haven't yet obeyed God, so therefore you're not ready to die. That's right. Let me let me educate you. The most scariest predicament to be in life is to die a sinner. That's right. Someone said, but I go to church every Sunday, so do roaches. <laughs> I'm up here now fighting the fly. <laughs> And man, they keep coming around bothering me and troubling me. He's coming around. Hey Amen. Because you go to church on Sunday, that don't move, that don't prove nothing. No. Don't you know folks go to church out of routine on Saturday and Sunday and all through the week? Yeah. 
God want obedience here. That's it. That's God right. said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. My commandments. What did God command? He command all men everywhere to repent. To repent. I want you to notice the conversation that we are about to read. Joshua between the devil mm -hmm. and God. That's right. Follow me. Joshua chapter 22, we'll start at verse 46. Chapter and verse again. The book of Joshua, the 22nd chapter, we're at the 46th verse. All right. And the day arrived when the sons of God came and placed themselves before the Lord. Yeah. And Satan also came with the sons of God before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Devil. Hmm. Where are you coming from? And Satan answered the Lord. Whenever anything is of God, mm -hmm. guarantee the devil's around it too. That's right. And the reason why the devil come around it, to try to discourage you from walking with it. That's right. I know the preachers here in Jackson, Mississippi, tell their members, don't you go see that Geno Jennings. <laughs> don't go see that Geno Jennings. See I was in one uh, city, and the telecast was so popular until I, when it was announced I was coming in town, it was in the newspaper. The word got back to me how preachers mm. start calling each other around town to have a big service on Saturday to try to keep any of the members. Really ain't got confidence in what you have. No. Amen. This thing is of God and nobody can stop it. That's right. Amen. I want you to realize, viewers and listeners, your pastor is playing with your soul. Oh, yes. Amen. And when you die and he roll you in the church and give you some fake home-going service. Amen. Where are you going? Where, are you going? Where, are you going? where are your eternal home going to be? Yeah. You think you're going to heaven? <laughs> you die with your second wife, second husband? And some old Jerry Carroll head Reverend gonna get up and tell you I saw your mother <laughs> Up there With Jesus That's right I see your father Yeah Over there with Jesus With Jesus I see your sister Over there With Jesus I see us mother <laughs> over there with Jesus. Let the church say, yeah. <laughs> and you falling out like a bunch of heathens. That's right. You doubt without God, you're going to hell. That's right. That's right. You're not a Christian, you cigarette sucker, beer guzzler, wine guzzler, living together, not married, going to the club, partying. Amen. You're not a Christian. That's I right. don't care if you go to church and set up a tent and the Boy Scouts help you set up the tent and you spend the night in the church. That's right. You going to come back to Bible and do it like the Bible said or die a sinner and lift up your eyes in the burning hell. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Joshua chapter 22 and verse 47. Hear this now. I want you to hear this warning. And the Lord said unto Satan, what's coming You might as well leave your churches here in Mississippi. Stop wasting your time going to these fake churches. Yeah. They're nothing but a bunch of fake hooping and hollering and loud mouth hypocrite that pose as preachers and church goers. That's right. All right. And the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord. Yes. And said, from going to and fro in the earth. I'm going in the earth, Lord. And from walking up and down in it. I'm walking up and down in it. And the Lord said to Satan, what is listen, thy I word to, to me? This. Satan, what is your word to me? Concerning all the children of what the earth. What is your word to me concerning all the children of the earth? Now notice, the Lord asked the devil, mm -hmm. tell me What's going on with all the children? All the children of the of earth. Of the earth. And Satan answered the Lord. But notice the answer that the devil gave him. And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. Wait a minute. The Lord had asked him just report about them that serve him. What is that? I want the report of everybody in the world. All the children of the earth. 
But the devil narrowed his report down. I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. Oh, I look at the ones that have been serving you, Lord. And remember thee. And they, listen, listen closely. Amen. They remember you. When they require anything from thee. When they want something. And when Hold they, it. Amen. That, that, that's Only when they want something. That's right. And that's when right. you bless them, they turn their back on you. That's they right. go back gambling, go back partying, go back smoking. They pray, Lord, bring me to the knowledge of the truth. Lord, I want to be saved. Lord, I want to be right. Lord, I'm getting older. And then next thing you know, they flip across the television and here's this hardcore hanging and banging message. Come on. Amen. And they say, that's what I've been looking for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But then they find out they got a lot to give up to walk with God. That's true. And they don't want to give up that second wife. That's right. They don't want to give up that second husband. Mm -hmm. He don't want to give up that bar. Amen. She don't want to give up that liquor. They don't want to give up living together, not married, yeah. because she living off of them. That's right. And she don't have a job of her own. That's right. Living off the income while they shack up. Yeah. Mama shacking up with her boyfriend. Yeah. Daughter shacking up with her boyfriend. That's right. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. Listen. And the Lord said to Satan, What is thy word to me concerning all the word children to me of concerning the earth? Everybody in the earth? And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. I've seen the ones that serve you. And remember thee when they require the anything. They remember from you, thee. When you when they want something. And when thou givest them the thing which Lord, they require from when you, you give them what they want. They sit at their ease. They sit back at ease. And forsake thee. And they leave you. And they remember thee no more. And they forget all about you. That's that's right. That's right. Amen. There are many men now with large buildings. Yeah. But when they had a small, what is called storefront church, yeah. some of them were strict. That's right. Some of them helped Bible policies. That's right. Some of them helped firm standards. Amen. Until the offering plates turned to trash cans. That's right. And then the little storefront church got as big as a supermarket. Yeah. Now every old piece of trash. Mm. It's allowed in church. That's right. Now church dating services. Yeah. Church lottery games. Oh, yeah. Church comedians. Amen. That's something. Now they drop the name church and put center. That's right. Love center. Love center. The name, the word church is too aggressive for them. Mm -hmm. Want to make it more down there, more passive. Yeah. Center. Love center. Yeah. The will of God and the purpose of God is not that any man perish, but all come to repentance. That's right. But because the devil sent men in abundance. Oh, yeah. And the people been brainwashed to believe right. that trash is good food. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. Imagine you've been so brainwashed that you believe vomit. Vomit. Is good eating. That's right. 